All right, everybody. All right, Zane with Really Easy AI, and we are going to jump right into it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you would, please. But we're going to look at how to work with photos in 10 minutes or less, and we're just going to crank through a bunch of scenarios until we run out of time. So here we go. So uh, first and foremost, remember to get the mobile app if you don't have it, because a lot of the pictures you're going to take are going to be on your mobile app. And the new model, ChatGPT 4.0, uh, is on the mobile app as well. So I'm going to show you here in the web, but honestly, most of the time you'll do it through mobile. That's how I do it. So let's begin. Uh, I'm just going to do a series of photos and then uh, some prompts and to show you kind of what the options are. So here I have a picture of a meeting. I took a picture of a Zoom meeting and I'm asking, what is the general mood of the people in this meeting? And so you can see there, there's the meeting. People look interesting, but the general mood of the people in this meeting appears to be serious and focused. Most of them have a neutral contraband. Yep, you got it. Very cool. So you can take a picture of your meeting. Uh, here's another one. Here I've got a picture of photosynthesis taking place. And I say something like, uh, here we go. I'm a teacher. Make me a lesson plan for teaching this to students. And away it goes. It looks at the picture figures out what's going on, and then it starts creating a lesson plan for photosynthesis. Yes, pretty wild, isn't it? Let's keep going. All right, whoops, let me stop that there. Okay, next picture. Here's a picture of some folks doing something in the street somewhere. And so I'm going to say, where is this taking place? Because I want to know the location. So you can see here the kids are doing something. And it's going to look at it and say, well, based on the image, image, it appears to be on a busy street, likely in New York. The presence of the New York license plate on the car gives it away. Perfect. But that's not good enough for me. I want to know. And so I'll follow up with, tell me what street. And so it's going to do some detective work. And it's going to figure out exactly where we're at. License plate, Cohen's optical and sign. I love smoke vape. By identifying that, I recommend searching for these. Uh, okay, you do it. Looks like it's going to fight me a little bit. That's fine. I'll prompt it a second time. Now it's looking for Cohen's optics and smoke and vape, seeing if it can find something. Okay, well, that's fun. Normally it finds it pretty quick. Let's try one more time. And I'll start a new chat to uh, let's see here tell me the street this is happening on sometimes it just gets a little janky so it's nice to start a new chat every once in a while let's see if we can do it appears to be a busy urban street stores are smoking vape Jack really I just search for the businesses smoke vape Cohen's there we go there we go Sometimes you just got to start a new chat, and there it goes. It found it. Sure enough, the image appears to be uh, taken on Orchard Street in New York City because Cohen's Fashion Optical uh, is there. Yep, that is it. Very nice. Very nice. All right, moving on. Okay, next picture. So this is an abstract one. This is an abstract concept of miscommunication. And I'm going to ask... What is this showing? You see here they're saying, I'm glad we all agree. They're miscommunicating. Oh, we don't agree. And then they all agree. Illustrates a concept related to communication and understanding among people. You got it. And it breaks it down. It's actually analyzing everything about this and it figures out what it's doing. It's very, very cool. Let's do another one. How about some medical stuff? Here's a picture of some eyes. And I, can, I might ask... Is anything wrong here? And yes, when I show you the picture, you can see that clearly one of the eyes is irritated. So it's gonna examine the pictures and says the image shows a comparison. The left eye appears normal and healthy, while the right eye is significantly red and irritated. Here's what could be wrong. Pink eye, dry eye syndrome, allergic reaction. So it actually starts diagnosing. It's pretty wild, isn't it? All right, next item. So now maybe I, I see this somewhere. And I wonder what the heck that thing is. 
And so I want to say, what is this? But because it looks complicated, I'm going to say, explain it to me like I'm in high school. And so this actually is a uh, chemical compound, Buck Buckminster Fuller ball. And there it is, a buckyball. Fullerene, it tells me what it is, gives me some information on it, and walks me through it on, on how it's used. And there it is. It even gives me links to where I can learn more. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm going to give it a math problem. And I'm going to say solve this equation. So you'll see the math picture here in a second. There it is. And I'm going to say solve this. And so it's going to look at the equation and figure out the solution. And away it goes. So it goes through step by step and eventually gives us a solution. Actually, I think that is the solution. There it is. So the derivative we get, there it is right there. That's the solution. Okay, good deal. Next picture. This one's a tricky one. This one I doubt anybody knows, or if you do know, extra bonus points. Let me know in the comments if you, if you got this one before it guessed. But here's a picture of a woman and a diagram. And I ask, what is the relationship between these images? And the images show Hedy Lamarr, a famous actress, and her patent for frequency hopping communication. That's right, the famous actress Hedy Lamarr invented the precursor to Wi-Fi that we have today. Very, very cool. And it recognized the relationship. Now what about images that we're like, uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Let's take a look at this one, for example where I just don't know what's going on. I just need an explanation of some kind. Explain this to me. Let me show you the image. Look at this image. I mean, it is an eye chart and a half, right? I have no idea what this is supposed to be depicting. So I just say, explain it to me. It says, the image you're provided is a highly detailed and intricate diagram of the human brain and its neural pathways. Oh, okay, cool, good to know. So that's pretty wild. Let's keep going. So let's say I'm on my mobile phone and I take a picture of some parking signs because I'm getting ready to park. And so I want to ask ChatGPT, hey, uh, it's 4.10 p.m. on Thursday. Can I park here? Because these signs, as you'll see in a second, are pretty darn confusing. Look at all these signs. You're like, ah, oh, geez, I don't know. Can I park here? To determine if you can park, let's analyze each sign. So it goes through each sign, analyzes each sign, and says, since it's Thursday at 4 p.m. and none of the other restrictions can apply, you can park here for one hour. Make sure to move your car by 5, 10 p.m. to avoid any penalties. If you have District Permit 4, you're exempt from the one-hour limit. Pretty nice. Hopefully, I do have District Permit 4. All right, let's keep moving on. What about homework? Well, it can solve that, too, as fate would have it. I'm going to say, give me the answers to this. And away it goes. Notice there's some nice little snapshot of homework on my phone. Let's solve each of the questions given in the image. Goes through, starts solving them. I'll go ahead and stop it there. But you get the idea. How about cooking? Well, yeah. Give it an image of anything that you are interested in. And you can say, what is this and how do I make it? And away it goes. It's going to figure out what dish this is and tell you how to make it. This is beef stroganoff, by the way. Yep, there it goes. Beef stroganoff, classic Russian dish, and there's how you make it. Let's keep going. How about a picture of my living room? This really isn't a picture of my living room, but we'll pretend it is. And let's say I'm really into feng shui. If you don't know what that is, look it up. But I say, how do I make this living room feng shui? And away it goes. And it starts figuring out how to realign the living room so I can make it feng shui. And there it is. Declutter and organize. All right, let's give it another one. How about a crossword puzzle? The Times crossword puzzle. And I say, give me the answer to 12 across in this image. I'll show you the clue here in a second. See it there? So uh, you can see 12 across boundaries around English or French city. Five words or five letters, it's right here, 12 across. And so it's gonna go through and figure out the answer to that. And there it is, and it'll figure it out. The answer across uh, to 12 across is Lille. Uh, I'm not sure that's right. I may actually have it regenerate. 
and do it again. And we're almost at time, but I'm going to go a little over because I want to show you one more uh, after it solves this. There it is. Uh, okay, perfect. And then the last one, poker hand. And I say, what is the best hand I can have here? So I do apologize for going a little over, but I want to show this to you. And there it goes, best hand, and we are done as soon as it figures that out. Slowing down a little bit because I think everybody's getting on the model tonight. There it goes. Best card we can have is a pair of aces. All right, boys and girls, hopefully you enjoyed that nice run through of what you can do with photos in ChatGPT 4.0. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.